peace where possible. So I think <laughs> at this point, most of the things that I could say, I've said before. They've been heard before. If the things that I say are true, then they will be true for everyone. Doesn't matter what their race is, their gender. If they are in fact true, true is an absolute value. It must maintain its integrity across 360 degrees of scrutiny or if in a single degree it, it fails to be true, then that thing must be called false. Okay? So if what I'm saying is true, it will be true for everyone. Okay? So the fact is, we're born and we enter into school. And when we enter into school, they provide us a list of activities that we can choose to study so that we might be useful to the society and the nation. And so at no time does this list factor the individual human. At no time does it say your beautiful child is gifted in this area and humanity is in need of strides in that area. At no time does it nurture the human capacity. And as a result of that, we are woefully lacking in relation to where we should be as a people. We've stifled the advance of our own being through this system of capitalism, through this system of usefulness and extraction, through this vampiric system. We've stifled our own forward growth. Well, what that does is it necessarily leaves the masses of people incapable of even thinking along the lines of solving their own problems. We wait until somebody steps up. We waiting for underdog to fly in and solve our problems and save our lives, right? We don't spend the time necessary to produce a solution for ourselves. So why do I go all to this place. Well, so I was looking at the packing up my tools to go into Ghana. And one of the things that I was packing was a water turbine. Okay. And so this is about the, the largest size that you can get on a consumer level. Um, and basically what this does is you put PVC pipe in one side, put it on the other side, it spins the wheel and you run the power off generated by way of that into whatever service area you need okay so i'm looking at it and i'm considering it and then i think about flint michigan and i realized that i could run six of these in series daisy chain that power and i could produce a self-contained filter that would do uv uh, pathogen removal. It would use standard filtration methods and we could reduce the water to a 0, 0.00 TDS in a standalone capacity. Why don't we? Why isn't that in place? That's simple. I just designed it from the top of the dome and guess what? It could work. I could put a prototype together in less than eight hours and it would work. Why has no one done it? Why is, why are we focused on people giving handouts? We're looking at underdog and we're real excited that underdog is gonna give out plates of food, but nobody solves the problem because we do not think outside of the box to be able to solve it for ourselves. We want someone else to do it and we wait for stopgap measures. We stand in line and hope somebody else will save us. Well, I suggest to you, the day come with each and every single sentient entity becomes responsible for themselves. All of the confusion that has been put in place, all of those things that would absolve you of responsibility, of the primary responsibility of controlling your own food, clothing, shelter, water, health care, and security are no longer an excuse for you to sit as a slave. We must solve our own problems for ourselves, for our children, for our future. So I suggest to you very simply that we have solutions. We have more answers than we have questions. And I'm begging you, I am begging you to begin to search yourself 
find those questions and match them with the answers that you already have. Let's build our way out. Peace.